Before we get into the video, we want to uh, talk about a quick word from our sponsor here, BET Online. They're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports. Um, I personally don't bet a lot near this Tanner, but we know that when our friends talk about betting, BET Online is the place to go. They're simply the best. So head to the website, betonline.ag. We'll pop it up on the screen, and the link is in the description. Or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's BET Online. AG. Now, on with the video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Chump Chat. It's been a long time. It's been like two weeks now, three weeks, maybe not like two weeks. We got a special guest, Lester City, national team boy. Mr. Chitrola, done say, let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, make sure before we get into it, man, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, so how you doing, man? I'm all good. I'm all good. I just got back uh, to Canada uh, for the for the break. So yeah, chilling. How was camp? That was what, in Switzerland? Yeah, in Switzerland. Yeah, that was, it was, it was decent. It was good. It was always great to be part of the team. I peeped you in a, I peeped you in a, like a small sided video there. You were making some saves. Oh word, yeah, that was that was I think that was the first day of the yeah, one of the first days. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. How how has it been just like kind of getting integrated into it? I mean, I remember kind of first hearing your name like U17, I think you were. And then mm-hmm. like it just seemed like bro, you blew up like straight from there, like U17 World Cup, U20, and now full national team. Like it's just out of nowhere. Like, how was that for you going so fast? Yeah, it it did like it came a lot faster than I really thought it would. But, yeah, after that 17s World Cup out in Brazil, everything just fell into place. So it was a bit because uh, of the whole coronavirus and uh, everything that was happening, like things were going out and in. But, yeah, I ended up there. So, uh, of course, can just thank God. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, so Tanner was actually telling me, and I got to ask, you're eligible for four countries. How is that even possible, bro? So I, I'm, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. So um, uh, born in the States, born in North Carolina, uh, born in Raleigh, uh, then uh, lived in England for maybe about 10, 10 years. So that's how I got the British passport. Um, lived in Canada for, I mean, everything after 11 uh and then two nigerian parents so that's yeah that's four right there damn that's wild that's actually crazy though but let me ask you this obviously you've been involved with the u.s but we've seen a big blow up from you what says that you don't start playing for leicester city and then nigeria comes knocking england comes knocking are you staying loyal or are you keeping the door open i mean the u.s have been loyal to me so why wouldn't i be loyal to them because I mean, they've kept on bringing me into camp since I was, what, 15, 16. So, and the trust that they've had, like, I, without a professional game to bring me into a men's national team, I'm just huge. So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with them all the way. I like yeah, that. Sure. I like to hear that. That's, yeah. that's, that's what I like to hear right there. The U.S. <laughs> yeah. all day. Obviously, you saw the game, right? What did you think yeah. of the game? Obviously, your boy came in, made an incredible save, a bunch of saves. But just tell me your thoughts. I mean, from the very first time uh, I met both Ethan and Zach, they've they've been such sound people. They were so good to me from the very first moment. Sometimes you can get uh, a little bit – it can be a bit iffy with um, some goalkeepers if, like, the, with competition and all that. But, no, they've been so great and – I'm just so happy for Ethan that he was able to get in, especially in his hometown, Denver, and and show up and show them what he's made of because he's he's a great he's a great guy and he's a great goalkeeper and Zach as well. Like everybody knows what he can do. Zach, Zach's the man, so of course he'll be back and he'll be back stronger. From hopefully his injury won't be too long. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. I, I want to have a question for you real quick because me and Tanner are penalty takers right now. So, oh yeah. So, if you were in the game, what way would you have dove? Be honest. I mean, 
I don't know about direct for me it's not really about directions it's more about like I see more as a wrong way or right way but I feel like I've uh, yeah I don't know I, I don't know which way I would have gone it, it's hard to say when you're watching like when you're in the goal you just get a feeling and then and then you go with it sometimes the feeling's wrong sometimes the feeling's right and then but for Ethan he was there all the way he was there all the way that's what I was, that's what I was gonna ask so like is there like a tell that you look at or something that like we can learn from and not do that when we're taking PKs I can't give away I can't give away my my method like that's uh okay. just never reveal the secrets <laughs> and all of that stuff but like yeah I can't I can't let you guys in on that that's a that's a that's a specialty for me. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. But going back a little bit more to your youth, uh, you spent some time in the Chelsea Academy, didn't you? Yeah, uh, under nines till under elevens, I was there. Yeah. How was that? Like, how was that experience? Because from Chelsea, did you come back to the states? Uh, I moved to Canada. From okay, there. yeah, Canada, Canada. Yeah, so I moved how to was Canada that? from there. It was. It. Was, I mean, that probably would have introduced me to the thought of playing professional professional um football so uh it was probably one of the main parts i would say of my career if you would call it career at that young but yeah there's a lot of big players that i played with and around that are doing huge things today like uh you know uh i mean callum hudson the doy was around when i was around he was a couple age groups ahead of me but uh of course you've got mason mounts you've got uh uh, Jamal Musiala, if you've heard of him, he's playing for, he just got selected Bayern. for Germany, for Germany's uh, Euro squad. So there was a lot of big players around. You feel a bit of pride uh, since Chelsea won the Champions League? You feel like you, you know, that's your team or what's your team in the Premier League? Obviously you play for Leicester City, but. I mean, I'm a Leicester player, so Leicester's my team for sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's a given. He's it's trying a to set given. you, he's trying to set you up for a wrong answer. It's a bro. given, it's a given. But yeah, hey. even, um, even Eunice, Eunice Musa, while he was at Arsenal as a young player, I was, I'd played against him like a couple of times because back then, Arsenal and Chelsea Academy, that was the big rivalry. That was the big rivalry. I saw you were at the FA Cup final, right? That was, that was quite an experience, oh, wasn't it? Huge. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Like, the fans deserved it. They really did. They really did. Being, because you, you train with the first team often, right? Yeah, yeah. Being around that, being around those guys, just everyday world class players. You're, you're facing strikers like Vardy, you know, players like Tillemans, and you're training under Schmeichel. You know, mm. what is that like? You know, what does that do for your development? I mean, of course, that's. I don't think you can ask for much, much more. You know, like you've got world class players that you can learn from, like Casper. Like, I mean, he's he's done it all. He's World Cups. He's a Premier League winner like club and country. So, and you've got players like Jamie Vardy, who's showing you how to, how you're going to get scored on and how the, how the top strikers are going to do it. So there's not much more that you can ask for as a, a goalkeeper coming up. I, I heard through the grapevine that Vardy's a little bit of a clown. Does he, if he little chips you in training or something like that, does he, you know, take the piss out of you? Oh yeah, he will. Especially with my eye. Especially with my high, I'll make sure that like that um, I'll know that I just got chipped as a as a, a six seven <laughs> goalkeeper. As well. I think it, it was in my first season where uh, I've I don't even know if he'd remember. He probably wouldn't. But uh, there was a ball he got, and he wasn't even facing me. And I've gone out to get close to him, and he's not even looked. And he's just flicked it over my head, and I I didn't even know what to say. Like it was almost like a welcome, like yeah, yeah. don't play with me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was... Is there? Do they have any kind of like you know rookie experiences with Leicester? Have they made you like carry the water every day and stuff like that? Haze you any? I mean, the 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 young guys have always got to do their jobs around the training ground, of course. Um, uh, we had to do the uh, initiation song, so yeah, sing Christmas dinner. While all the players are all the players are in, you gotta go up there with the wall ball as the mic and perform for the guys. But it's all in it's all in good fun. <laughs> it's all in good fun. For sure, bro. For sure. I mean, it means you're being integrated into the squad, so it'll yeah, make exactly. it rise that much easier. Exactly. Hey, so uh, talking a little bit uh, outside of soccer, you you got a girl, bro? Nah, I don't. 
you yeah, gotta go. All right. So we have a question on here that um, we like to ask everyone, and it, it's pretty okay. important. I, I, I think <laughs> it's pretty away. important. I think it's a pretty important uh, question then for guys coming up. So obviously, you know, maybe when you're not as big, you know, you just have your mm-hmm. friends close to you. But once you get bigger, you know, people start sliding those DMs. People start appearing out of nowhere. You know, how do you deal with, uh, how do you know who's real and how do you deal with the people who just kind of like come into your life after they see a little bit of success? I mean, I mean, my my guys know, like, I keep my circle quite uh, tight, but at the same time open. Like, I'm I'm a quite easy to approach guy. I'm a quite, uh, I keep it, I keep it real with everyone. So, I don't know, I, most of the people that I come across are genuine and pretty cool people. So, I haven't really had to struggle with like the fake and the and you know the people with bad intentions so I don't know I'm I feel like I'm lucky I feel like I'm lucky I'm gonna put you on the spot you prefer English girls or Canadian girls or American girls oh damn we're gonna be some angry people uh <laughs> yeah North America is where it's at North America is where it's North at. America okay 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 that's where it's at <laughs> hey bro uh, so we have a special question here. Uh, it's mm. kind of our whole brand. We, we try to define success. We talked to a lot of big people, Daryl DK, obviously you, a lot of other people. Mm. And so, you know, the crazy thing is there's no true definition of success. So I just want to ask you, what's your definition of success? And do you think you've achieved it yet? My definition of success. I mean, definitely a success for me would be uh, reaching all the personal goals that I would have. It's not always just being named or called the best. It's a lot of, it's, I think it's a lot personal, a lot more personal than that. Like for me, if, if I know that I've put my whole, my whole all into it and I've been able to produce knowing that I haven't left anything and not had any regrets after let's say after hopefully a long career, then yeah, that's success for me, for sure. For sure, definitely. No regrets would probably be the, the main thing, yeah. So you couldn't say right now that you've achieved it yet? Not yet, but I'm, I'm as I am right now, I, I don't regret anything, so. You're on your <laughs> way. On so you're on your way, way yeah. Yeah, that's, that's way. big time. That's the yeah. way to do it. I think uh, we've had a lot of people answer with a lot of different things. And, and that's a pretty solid answer because at the end of the day, you want to be content with what you've done. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, there's a point where you, where you reach that, obviously we're hungry for more. I mean, you're not, you're not happy where you're at. You want to play, you want to get minutes, yeah. you want to, you want to start in those games, but, but I feel you, but, um, but for you, we'll go back to a little bit of the soccer. Yeah. You're, if you had to go into a tournament, a world cup with a five aside team, you and goal, and then five players on, on the field, players that you've played with or trained with or whatever who are you taking on your team Ooh. that's difficult all right five. Oh, five so i'm picking five players yeah five yeah. players all right um including me of course yeah you're in goal okay so i got four more um <laughs> i'm gonna go with alfonso davies Okay. Um, okay. Starting strong. Yeah, but need that pace in there for sure. Um, oh, dang, this is hard. You know, this is played or trained with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have Jamie Vardy in there. <laughs> uh Let's get Weston McKinney. And then lastly, oh, wow. Wilfred and Didi. Oh, my Wilfred goodness. Didi, yeah. He's a monster. I was going to say, you you didn't have too much defense there, but if you have Didi yeah. in the back, that's all you need, yeah. right? Wilfred that's all Didi, you need. yeah. All right, let me put you on the spot, though. Make it a little bit harder. Mm. All right. Um, you play some great players, obviously Vardy, Davies, Pulisic, all those guys. Mm. Mm. Who has the most potential out of any guy you've played with or trained with? Whoa, 
that's difficult, you know. Because, I mean, that whole US men's national team are players 24 and under, and the sky's the limit. Damn. Who's got the most potential? I honestly, I honestly could answer that. I, that's nah, bro. We need to answer. Come on, we'll put you on the spot. We'll put you on the oh, spot. That's... Just throw a name out there. Like I know you. I know we all think it. We're all like, all right, this guy, this guy's got it. Oh, Eunice Musa. Eunice Musa is serious. Really? He's so what, serious. what was the first? What was the first time you saw him? Because you said, did you you played against him with Chelsea? Yeah, when I was back in under nines and under tens. Even then, was he raw? Yeah, he was. He's always been a good player. I've played against him as well uh, when he was playing for England. We played against him, and he absolutely controlled the midfield. But he's so dynamic. <laughs> he is so dynamic. Like I remember, I remember his first camp with us. Like, I didn't really know what I was gonna see, but he was. He's a game changer. He's. Yeah, I can see him going really far, real yeah. far. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, like Ballon d'Or far? I mean, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Fair enough, bro. You, you, Fair you enough. This, if, you hear, you this, if you hear this, you're welcome, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But, I mean, for sure, I mean, you got you got shouts like Gio Reyna in there, other guys Yeah, like Gio, that, for, for sure. sure. I, I, I've played with Gio for the whole 17 cycle. He was... He's been the guy. He's all. I think he's always going to be the guy. He's he's a huge player. Of course, Christian, Serge, Wes, um, Tyler, like unbelievable players, man. We've got too many. There's just way too many. Me as a forward, I want. I have to ask you this: Who has that you've played against? I feel like maybe the obvious answer is Vardy, but besides that, who's just like the most clinical? Like you're like, all right. He has a better chance of scoring on me than me saving it. Maybe I don't know if that's anyone, but well, I, I can't. I can't do that to myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Vardy for sure. Yeah, Vardy for sure. But um, I mean, that's Golden Boot win at two time. Um, but oh, better chance of scoring. I, I don't know. I don't know if I if I'll put anybody with a plus fifty. I don't know. All right, all right. Just, just the highest, the highest chance of scoring. <laughs> um, you know what? West is finishing. West McKenney is finishing. Is finishing series. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not the answer I was expecting. I would yeah. not and expect Kalechi, that. And Kalechi and Kalechi Iannaccio as well. Oh my! He Kalechi was dirty. He was dirty at the end of the season, man. I think everything that came off his foot went in. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! He was yeah. different. Man, but yeah. training with that Leicester squad, man, like they're so good. I, okay, let me ask you this though: disappointing at the end of the season to not get CL though. Yeah. I what mean, was the mood? Were you there? Like, were you there? Like, what was the mood afterwards? Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, you always want to qualify, but in the end, you look at the season before the start of the season. You you ask the team, would you be content with winning the FA Cup and then the last day of the season? competing to get into the Champions League like I mean we take that I think every single time but Fair enough. yeah it's always it's always tough though it's always tough with those but the next year comes doesn't it next yeah. season yeah. comes of course it's just I, crazy y'all y'all held it the longest out of any team and yeah to be out I, at the end when man. I when I saw that stat I was like wow I was like, wow it's just it's tough Jeez. But hey, before we wrap it up, man, I think it's been a great interview so far. But I'm just gonna ask you, where do you see yourself, and so that the fans can see it, where do you see yourself in the next five years, maybe? Definitely want to be playing regularly, for sure, playing regularly, and hope. How old will I be in five years? About 23. Yeah, reaching. Uh, that's about reaching prime age. I want to be. Oh, that's 2026, isn't it? Hey, oh, I want to be playing in that World Cup. I want to that be boy, playing in that World that Cup. That boy coming for, sure. for the starting spot at home. Yeah, yeah, I want to be playing in that in the with the home crowd for sure. I want to be, yeah, I want to be getting there to the top of my game for sure. Definitely, I think you're gonna be there, bro, here. for sure. I think you're gonna be there. Tan, you got anything yeah. else for him? 
I just want to say, you know, we, we have this thing here. It's called a chum chat blessing. So yeah. after you come on the podcast, you just get a blessing, like a different type of blessing. Oh, so like we had, we had Daryl DK blessing. We've had, you know, Mark McKenzie blessing, Brendan Aronson blessing, a bunch of players, just a blessing. So, so after you just said that for sure, five years starting the world cup, <laughs> yeah. we're going to get the dog. Right. So, they're going to so come back got. here five years we'll later. It's going to be like, Hey, it was chum chat, you know? Yeah. So, you Vigil. Know, yeah. Vigil. Hey, yeah, that's, that's it for me, man. Hey, um, yeah, so before love. before before we go on um, and end it, who do you want to see? Because you always ask who our guest wants to see, and we try to get them on. Who you want to see being interviewed by us? Yeah, I want you guys to get Eunice, bro. You guys would love that. You guys would love that. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> we got to go Bye. after this, man. We <laughs> you got guys, you. you guys. All right, bro, bad, bad, bad. And uh, do you have anything you want to say? Plug yourself, plug your socials, whatever, so people can go show love. I mean, yeah, Chatura Denze on IG and Twitter for sure. Hey, but, if, he keep, if he keeps posting those fire fit pics, I mean, I'm going to say, y'all need to run his likes up. Go run those comments up right now. I mean. Hey, the bucket was looking kind of nice, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, yeah, much love for this, guys. I like, really appreciate it. All right, bro. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. and um, Yeah, for sure. Shout out to everyone watching this. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And like we always say, yes, go find your own success. <laughs> Thank you.